This video is going to show you how to round 3 and 53 hundredths to the nearest tenth. Let's use a number line to actually check and see what's going on when we round, because you've probably heard the phrase five or higher, round up, four lower, stays the same, or round down, or maybe you can't even remember what that silly little rhyme was. Let's take a look at what's actually happening on the number line, and I have a feeling it's going to be really clear. So you can see here that since we're rounding to the nearest tenth, I've decided to, I call it jumping, hop on my number line one tenth. So that's the first thing is you need to make sure that you are only jumping a tenth on your number line. Then you need to think about what's in the middle. So between three and five tenths and three and six tenths, what is in the middle? So I'm just going to put a little mark here. And an easy way if you're confused and you're like, I don't know what's in the middle, put some zeros on the end here to hold some place values and think about what's in between 50 and 60. Well, we know it's 55. So in the middle is going to be three and 55 hundredths. Now the next thing we need to do is actually plot our decimal on the number line. So we have three and 53 hundredths and we need to decide, is it gonna go on the left-hand side of the number line or the right-hand side of the number line? And if I'm thinking about this, I can think about this is 3.51, 0.52, 3, 4, here's 5, 3.5, I'm sorry, yeah, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, and 3.6, or 3.60, or 3 and 60 hundredths. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the number line, and I know it's going to go about right there. There is going to be 3 and 53 hundredths. Now I need to ask myself, is it closer to 3 and 50 hundredths? or three and 60 hundredths, or another way of saying that is, is it closer to three and five tenths or three and six tenths? Well, I can see that since it's on this side of the number line, it's going to be closer to three and five tenths. So three and 53 hundredths rounded to the nearest tenth is going to be three and five tenths. Now, if it was a decimal that would have been plot on the other side of this midline here, then it would have been closer to three and six tenths or three and sixty hundredths. Now you might be thinking, well, what if it's directly in the middle? If it's directly in the middle, we have a common understanding that you are going to always round up, which is why we say if it's five or higher, round up. If it's four or lower, it stays the same or round down. So three and fifty-three hundredths rounded to the nearest tenth would be three and five tenths, and that's because it is closer to three and five tenths on the number line. I hope you found this video helpful.